Hello everyone, I am Mansi Rathor from the Bhopal School of Social Sciences, Department of Education, BA second semester. Now, today we are studying about friction. So before starting friction, let's simply discuss about force. What do we understand from force? So if I say if we want to displace a particular object, let's suppose this is a this is a ball and this ball is placed in a particular table and if we want to displace that particular ball towards in this direction so what we will do then we have to apply a force on it so what is force force is basically a push or a pull so force is basically force is basically push or pull okay so in this way we can apply the force so force is basically a vector quantity how it is a vector quantity because if we are applying this ball towards this direction then there will be some displacement occurs displacement means change in the velocity as we all know from uh, the formula that was given by sir isaac newton f is equals to m a where f is the force and m is the mass as well as a is the acceleration so when we want to displace a particular object, mass is needed and the acceleration means the change in velocity is required. That is why it is a vector quantity. When we talk about force, so it, the SI unit of force is Newton. Now, force are of two kinds. The very first one is contact force and the second is non-contact force. So contact force, when we talk about contact force, that means there is a contact between the two surfaces or the two bodies or objects. So Frictional force is an example of contact force or we can also call this, friction can also be called as force of friction, force of friction. Now we will see in brief what is this force of friction is. Okay, so uh, now we will discuss about friction. Basically, friction is a contact force and it occurs when the two objects are in contact with each other. The surface of the two contacts are touching each other. So that is force. Basically, this friction is an opposing force. Like if I just want to displace, we will take the same example. Let's suppose this is the ball and we want to displace that and this is the ground. So we have to apply certain force. That means we are doing some motion. Now what the friction will do, it will just oppose the motion. Friction will oppose the motion of this particular ball so uh, here the frictional force is taking place the friction will be there if this will be the friction then this is the motion so we can conclude that friction is an opposing force which opposes the motion of an object now we will see the definition then we will go for examples so the action of one surface we are talking about the action of one surface or object rubbing against another as I have told you earlier that it is a contact force that means there is a, a necessity that the two surfaces are just touching each other now frictional force is the opposing force because it opposes the motion of an object it resists the motion of an object created between the two surfaces created between the two surfaces that try to move in the same direction or in the opposite direction so that is about friction. Now we uh, all have seen or we all have did one beautiful activity that uh, sometimes we used to rub our hands together like this. Now what is the reason behind this? Because mostly this thing we can do in winters. We can just rub our two hands together because we want to feel warmth. Now what the friction do there is friction converts a part of kinetic energy in the potential energy in the form of heat energy. So there, there is the reason or there is a logic of friction in this activity. Now, uh, why we are able to walk? Why we are able to walk? So we are able to walk just because of friction. So if we are there and this is the surface and the surface is a rough surface and we are able to walk on a rough surface because of friction. There is a friction which presents between our feet, feet and uh, the ground. So we have the friction in between this, that is why we are able to walk. Or I can say, now see some examples. Why we used to slip on the banana peel? Because uh, when we talk about road, so what happens in the road? The surface of road, we are talking about road. 
surface of road is very uh, rough as compared to that of banana peel and the surface of banana peel is very smooth so friction says that uh, smoother the surface the less is the friction that is why we fell down or ball rolls down and stops ab hum sab ne ye dekha hoga ki ball चलते चलते एक अगर हम किसी बॉल को किक करेंगे तो वो एक पोजीशन तक तो जाएगी लेकिन वहाँ जाने के बाद वो रुक जाएगी वो कंटिन्यूसली रोल नहीं होगी क्यों नहीं होगी वो कंटिन्यूसली रोल बिकॉज ऑफ फ्रिक्शन क्योंकि फ्रिक्शन एक ऐसा फोर्स है जो अपोज कर रहा है उस बॉल के मोशन को आगे बढ़ने से दैट इज़ एन ब्यूटिफुल एग्जाम्पल दैट बॉल रोल्स डाउन एंड स्टॉप्स सो दैट इज़ अबाउट फ्रिक्शन नाउ देर आर सम कॉमन एग्जाम्पल्स एज यू कैन सी इन द वेरी फर्स्ट एग्जाम्पल दिस पर्टिकुलर मैन इज पोशिंग this box in this direction as you can see the surface is rough here the surface is rough and he finds it difficult to push that particular object in this side why he is finding because rough the surface more will be the friction now when we talk about climbing how we are able to climb the question comes in our mind so the reason is basically this that friction acts between the hands as well as the rock and which makes us easy so that we can grip the particular rock very easily so we are not able to uh, slip so that is about friction so these are some common examples okay so we are talking about the need of friction why friction is needed so let's see some examples uh, where do you think you can easily walk on the road or in ice so for that we have to think the surface of road and ice the surface of road is very rough the surface of ice is very smooth the smoother the surface the less will be the friction is so there are few types of frictions were there the very first is static friction sliding friction fluid friction and rolling friction we can see them one by one so static friction static means the object is at at a position of rest stationary object so the friction between the surfaces that are stationary let's suppose a book sitting on a table or a book is kept on a table there is also a friction that is the static friction or a car parked on a hill when a particular car is parked on a hill there is no relative motion between the wheels of the car as well as the uh, hill that is why if there is no relative motion the fric the static friction will be there so that is about the static friction next is sliding friction so uh, sliding friction is basically the fr friction that is experienced by a body when it is in sliding motion so the force that exists when objects slide past each other for example a child going down a slide usually this is not possible when a particular child is uh, sliding down through the slope what hap uh, because of gravitational force gravitational force also act at that particular time but there is also a frictional force which is just opposing the motion of the particular object or we can say uh, body then rubbing both hands together as i have told you earlier this example because why we uh, rub our hands together because this generates the heat and this is possible just because of friction opening a window generally when we open a particular window we are just uh, we we can just apply the muscular force and the muscular force we can apply to open the window so we are doing in a sliding motion uh, the same as lighting a matchstick also means friction is basically an opposing motion so whatever we are doing the particular things are in sliding motion next is rolling friction rolling friction means friction experienced by a body when it is in ro rolling motion so for example wheels of vehicles have you ever observed why the wheels of the vehicles are round in shape because uh, as you can see the ball bearings like this this is the shape of ball bearings so the outer portion outer portion of this ball bearing is smooth and as i have told you that smoother will be the surface the more will be the friction is when we talk about skateboard tires the tires of skateboard the tires of skateboard are usually very small in diameter because so that they can reduce the friction so these are the examples of rolling friction next fluid friction when we talk about any fluid so fluid is basically what it is uh, liquids and gases as air and water so these are the fluids okay so uh, have you ever observed why the body of fish is a steam line because this particular shapes reduces the friction so the fish can easily 
swim in the water or same as in case of swimming in water when we uh, swim in the water we feel that some force is opposing us which restrict the fluid motion so that is why swimming in water is an example of fluid friction same as cleaning of wet surfaces whenever we want to clean a particular wet surface we use fluid fluids why we use fluids because it is easier and that is an example of fluid friction there are some factors which affect the fluid friction speed of object the more will be the speed the more will be the friction shape of object as i have told you the shape of aeroplane the shape of birds are very streamlined so that they can they can resist the fluid friction size of object larger the object more will be the friction nature of fluid if fluid is more viscous let's suppose there is an object which is uh, moving in a honey and uh, he uh, he feels the more viscous force there as it if uh, as it does not feel when it is placed on a particular plain water why because this, uh, the density of uh, honey is larger as compared to that of plain water that is why uh, these are the factors which affect the fluid friction now there are some advantages as you can say ability to walk without friction we are not able to walk writing we cannot hold the particular pen in our hands birds cannot fly without friction because of air resistance gripping onto the things yeah we cannot hold a particular thing without friction we are not able to walk generating heat so these are the some advantages of friction now ways to increase friction now if we want to increase the friction how we are going to increase the friction so increase the surface area like as you can see uh, in parachutes when the parachutes are not opened so the surface area is very uh, very small so with and when it opens uh, when the parachute opens the surface area is very large so larger the surface area increase will be the friction rough the surface area as i, I have told you about the example that we are able to walk in a rough surface not in a smooth surface because the rough will be the surface the more will be the friction produced increased mass the mass of the object is increased that means friction also increases grooves in shoes we are having grooves in shoes why because so that they can hold the ground particular uh, they can hold the ground perfectly we are able to run or we are able to uh, we are able to play perfectly because there are grooves in our shoes disadvantages loss of energy yes because friction is the opposing force so that that means we have to apply or we have to put some more efforts to do any kind of work next is it resists the motion makes work tedious overheating causes spark machine breakdown wear and tear problems for also there the damage of objects furniture and it causes overheating of engines now ways to reduce friction how we can reduce the friction so putting oil okay but why to put oil because oil is oil makes the surface smooth or sliding that is why we can use oil to reduce friction applying grease and lubricants lubricants just for the same reason as i have told you earlier using wheels allow contact okay now sub just assume there is a car who is, who is having a square wheels but uh, what do you think is it possible for a car to move or to roll down no that is why the shape of the wheels are circle in shape using ball bearings the outer surface of the ball bearing is smooth that is why ball bearing is used to reduce the friction then polishing polishing also smooths the surface smooth will be the surface the less will be the friction so that is about the friction now the conclusion part so what we can conclude as we have studied about the friction the types why it is needed how to increase and how to decrease the friction so friction can be said as a boon or a bane because without friction we are not able to hold the thing we are not able to ride we are not able to walk or because of friction a lot of extra energy is being used so there is both pros and cons of this nature of law so i hope that you all have the idea of friction and thank you